uh, so it is a client to test APIs, uh, whether it is uh, a RESTful SOAP, GraphQL, or gRPC. Uh, you can directly you know execute the command from the Insomnia client. It is somehow like uh, Postman. So let us begin about, uh, to see about this. So for this video, actually, we will see about the Insomnia, I mean, basic introduction of Insomnia, and later after, uh, we will write uh, some documentation using Insomnia document. Uh, that is a plugin and a command line utility to generate a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, uh, bib uh, based documentation. So let us launch. So simply create a request collection. Just provide the name. So I want uh, to keep it example. Yeah, you can simply import and export the file from here. Somehow request and import the files also. Before doing anything, you have to create a environment. That is a standard practice when you are right, uh, doing, uh, you know, uh, in a team or somehow a big, on a big project. So just rename the environment. So simply, I am just keeping it like dev or somehow example dev or something like that. So you can keep it as your wish. Just provide the key and the value. So I am setting up my base URL. So it is HTTP bin dot org. Click on the done once you are done. Yeah, there is other option which uh, you can I mean uh, use there is color. So probably you can assign the color to your project like I I just want some orange color here. So your project. Yeah, no. I just want to delete this and I yeah, just change the color for it so yeah, it is likewise and the color is updated just click on the dev further you can also update uh, these variable list and so like API keys and all then you have to activate the environment variable from here like if there is multiple variable or oh, environments actually a variable are inside of that so you can simply click over there and set it up now there is option to create the folder and the requests. Uh, so if you are working on the big project, you can simply create the folder first and then the request inside of the folders. But in our case, it is a simple uh, example. So I will directly uh, write, you know, uh, I will directly write a request. So get your own IP and the method will be get. <coughs> Here is your, uh, you know, URL. So as I has already defined it in the environment, I can simply refer that. So write underscore dot and press space and probably it will auto uh, suggest you to, you know, uh, automatically in um, somehow two to three seconds. But you can also click, uh, uh, press the control and space button to get the response. Then slash and the URI after that. So in our case, there is no need of any body authorization key query or header but you can also pass these things into different formats and probably binary file to keys into the different way like basic or then digest the auth one two and <coughs> microsoft related thing where it is where a token is there and number of other probably headers and the queries uh, that we are usually passing uh, into the multi-performance so the most important part is documentation but we will see about it uh, after running this uh, you know command so you can simply uh, press the command and enter or somehow control enter in in the windows and uh, simply click on the run probably uh, both all uh, means all these are the same like uh, clicking on the send or command enter and somehow control enter all these are same uh, so you're getting the response if you run it into the browser then also you will get uh, somehow the response in the same manner okay here status quo is 200 means all the thing is okay now uh, by default like if you are gonna generate the documentation for it so uh, just have a look example docs and it is ready now i am inside of the folder if i run npx serve just wait a moment it will automatically launch the servo now open it open a new tab and just wait so you are getting 
the request name the project name somehow and uh, the endpoint that you has named actually the me uh, method like get post put patch or delete endpoint actually with the whole URL path along with that your environment then option to toggle and here how you can run it from the curl and other languages too but I want to see the example response of different status code how we can do that so this is the insomnia document which is the command line tool by which we can generate this documentation as we have generated from no, sorry uh, from here so uh, uh, to generate from the command line you need to export your project into the JSON format actually like JSON version 4 insomnia version 4 JSON so if you generate in this format so surely you will get the response in an um, appropriate way and you need to follow this command line you know or think to generate the documentation you can simply uh, run the npf insomnia documenter and uh, dash, dash configuration and the path of your json file where where it is located you can also install it and simply run uh, it directly you can also provide the output path if you are not providing the output path uh, it will create all the files that is uh, here uh, into your current working directory so uh, this way you can do the thing but uh, in the documentation yeah and you can launch the server like this but nowhere in the documentation it has mentioned that how you can put the response code and that was the trouble for me for a long time but I got the resolution of it uh, in, in uh, uh, some issue tracker also uh, so uh, for that if you write a documentation here likewise um, get your own I just want to uh, make a little bit colorful color is somehow red IP and close this pan address so now this will be uh, will be into the documentation somehow like this and here also I mean if you are able to see then it will be likewise but how I will keep uh, the response and request so initially it was something like R E S P O N S C and and a response so all the thing in between uh, being automatically reflected but it is not working for now so we can have the back tick and write it likewise the response like 200 I want to mention I can keep it here and the response code so yeah I just want to copy this code here from here actually and paste it here <coughs> just save and that's all you need to regenerate all the documentation once again so just uh, do it likewise and yeah, you need not to restart your server it will automatically pick it up and just refresh the page boom you got the response example response code for 200 uh, for the same way I mean in the same way I do not know whether there is 404 or not but you can have it likewise if in in your you know case there is some scenario likewise you can write as much as uh, 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 you know uh, response code one even you can have response code 200 for twice or thrice if if in in your project such a demand is required i think so that is not but if it is required so like here message requested endpoint not found or somehow requested resource is not found so it is looking like this yeah you always need to regenerate your documentation if you update it now go into the browser just refresh and boom so this is the way you can generate a beautifully designed documentation using insomnia documenter uh, either using the command line utility or with the help of plugin so that's all from my end if it is helpful for you so please subscribe the channel share it with your friend happy coding have a nice time thank you very much